Okay, I want to tell you how you can get this developer tab to appear in Excel if it's not there. By default, when you first open um, Excel 2010, this, this tab will not appear. I, I wanted to make it disappear and show you how to put it back there, but I can't make it go away. But I can tell you how to make it appear if it's not there. If you forget these instructions, uh, the Microsoft help on this is pretty specific. If you uh, look for help on Show Developer, if you can remember, it's the Developer tab that you need to bring out. Uh, you can uh, search for that, and the first thing that comes up is Show the Developer tab. So the instructions here are, are pretty clear and pretty straightforward, and I'll just walk you through them. They're, they're pretty uh, simple. So uh, it explains here that it's it's not there by default, but here are the things that it allows you to do if you will enable it. So uh, so here's what we need to do. <laughs> Click on the file tab that's here. Uh, and then we need to click on options. Where are options? Down here at the bottom of the list. So we click on options. And that brings up a dialog box. I'll try to keep it all together. What do we do next? We need to click on Customize Ribbon. Well, where is that? Customize Ribbon is in this list. So Customize Ribbon is here. And now we have um, another panel that has a number of uh, items listed here. And the instructions here say under Customize the Ribbon and under Main Tabs. So where is that? Customize the Ribbon, Main Tabs. So under this list, we're looking for the developer checkbox. And here it is, so developer checkbox. And bear in mind that the list that you have here may appear differently, especially down here at the bottom. Uh, for example, I have Adobe Acrobat installed here, and they have some uh, add-ins that, that are there. So um, you want to make sure you get um, the developer tab uh, clicked on there. And then uh, you're OK. You will need to uh, close Microsoft Excel and reopen it to uh, make sure the developer tab is there. So by closing it and reopening it, uh, hopefully you'll find the developer tab. So what does that do for you? The developer tab is the gateway to the Visual Basic editing panel. So the Visual Basic editing panel uh, is this first icon on the far left and when you click on that Microsoft will open up an, another um, session if you will so you'll, you'll have another window and I'm, I'm moving them uh, both here but I'm going to put this one in the main view now this one is the uh, visual basic uh, for applications and now if you want to uh, create uh, visual basic uh, macros uh, you need to make a place for them, so to speak. And you do that by uh, highlighting the, the current project book. And then um, we need to insert a module. And that gives us a place where we can then write some uh, Visual Basic code. So we uh, click on insert a module. And you can see he's created a, a module down here. Uh, it says module one. That's the name he comes up with. If you want to um, change the name of this, it's it's possible, but just leaving it as as a module is, is fine. It's not important to do that. But now, when you click on this this module, module one, you can uh, write code in Visual Basic code in this this space over here. So that's pretty much it. Uh, just the basics of how to get into the Visual Basic programming environment. And at this point, if, if you want to write some code and then go back over to your uh, spreadsheet and deal with, or enter some things there, do some editing, that's fine. And then you can you can leave both of these open if you wish, as long as you're, you're in Excel. If you get through with your uh, Visual Basic uh, editing, then um, you can close this window and go back to just your spreadsheet environment. But uh, while we're here, we can write a little 
uh, code. I don't know something simple, but let's just uh, call this function Adam. I'm going to add two numbers together. So let's call um, this one X and this one Y. And so you see, as soon as I type the keyword function and then the name with proper syntax, uh, Excel automatically recognizes that keyword and highlights it in um, blue text and then adds the end function. So Excel tries to help you as much as it can in terms of um, syntax for this. So what I want to do here is just make a, a little function. And so uh, the function here is just going to add these two numbers together. Of course, this is a little idiotic function that you would never write, but it's just an example of, of how to how to write a code. So again, if I make a comment by putting a, a single quotation mark, a tick mark in the first call uh, anywhere uh, in the stream. Uh, everything after that tick mark is interpreted as uh, a comment. So the comment there just says we're going to add two numbers together. And if we wanted to indent this a little bit just to make it readable, we, we can. Um, the spaces don't matter in, to Excel, to, to Visual Basic. Okay, so there's our function, uh, Adam. So now if we want to call this function from the spreadsheet, we can should be able to. I'm not sure if it will work for us. But let's just say um, if we had the numbers 3 and 4 in here and we wanted to. Now you notice when I typed in A-D-D-E-M, Adam, in the spreadsheet, uh, Excel immediately recognized that as uh, a name of a function that exists because he saw that in the uh, Visual Basic section. So he's... he's indicating that by bringing up a little uh, box that says, you know, here's the function called Adam. And um, so if I can now tell it I want to add this value and this value and close the parentheses on the function call, uh, mercifully it comes up with the, the right answer. So um, that's probably kind of small. I don't know if it helps to see that any bigger or not. But uh, so the Arguments, the placeholders uh, X and Y, uh, being played by the actors three and four, the numbers three and four, <laughs> respectively. And so when we add those two together, three plus four uh, is seven. So uh, we're in, in good shape.